In the Gospel of John, which we had read for us before, we read Jesus in chapter 14 where he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And these are very famous words of Jesus, famous in Christian history and amongst Christians, that Jesus is the only way, the only way to come to God. Now, what's the context here? Because understanding the context is very important. And if you have a Bible, uh, please look with me on John chapter 14, verses 2 and 3. I'll read them out here. So Jesus says here, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you also may be where I am. So here is Jesus describing about going away. And the context here is he's talking about what we might call heaven. Going away to prepare heaven for us. Now, heaven is described in different ways in the Bible. Sometimes it's spoken of as as a giant temple. Sometimes it's spoken of as paradise. Sometimes as a city sometimes as a bride coming to her husband. It's described as a wedding. Sometimes it's described as as the resurrection and the renewal of all things. On this occasion, Jesus describes heaven as a house with rooms. A house with rooms. And this is my first question for today. I want to ask you, do you have a, a room in God's house? Is there a room for you in God's house? Now, we need to be careful when we answer this because we don't want to assume something that may not be ours. What I mean by that is if you were to come to my house and you came around for some afternoon tea, of which you would be welcome, but if you just said, I'm just going to take one of these rooms and now live in here, live in one of the rooms of your house, That would be going too far, wouldn't it? It would be assuming something that's not yours. And that's how some people are with God. They just assume that, you know, people give me all types of things in this world or the politicians want to give me things. God wants to give me things. God will give me anything I want. And if I, you know, of course he'll let me in. But that's being presumptuous. You see, my children know that they have a room in my house. Now, why do they know that they have a room in my house? Well, because they saw me paint the room. They saw me get the room ready. They know that a room was prepared for them. They call me father, and so they know they have a room in my house. You see, Jesus prepares the room for you in God's house. By ourselves, we actually don't have a room in God's house. We are strangers to God's house. But Jesus is the one who prepares the room and he can give you the room. 